I'm speaking about a topic that, that kind of come up accidentally and it's called how to be a millionaire farrier. Um, we get into talking about how to, how to be professional, how to view your business, how to view yourself, how to, how to look at your financial entity and, and your self-worth. Um, and that all leads into your net worth and, and where you want to be, where you want to go, what you want to do with your business, how you perceive your business, how you perceive yourself and how you look at yourself. And what we really tried to do is design it with the APF is that, that we've tried to design it as a motivational talk and, and trying to get farriers to promote themselves as the entity that they are and, and the one profession that it is and share that, that word, share that message. It's a balance, um, you know, working, working as a business owner, as an independent business owner, whether you're a farrier or anything, it's a balance and it's trying to set core guidelines, trying to set a baseline to how you operate, um, establishing a scope and then sticking to it, establishing business hours, uh, you know, and then having people respect you for that. Uh, customer education is paramount. You have to educate your customer on how you operate. And that, that rolls right into the people that come and work for you, be it apprentices, associates. They need to know why you're in business in the first place. You need to explain that to them. Two messages that people can take home. Number one is how to establish a plan. Not only how to establish a plan, but how to implement a plan. And why it is important to implement a plan and why it is important to stick to that. Success as a business owner comes from planning. And when you plan, you need to replan. You need to evaluate and reevaluate. It's constantly turning, it's constantly turning itself over, and you need to push forward with those core guidelines that you establish.